Hey everyone, today I'm here to show you guys how I transform my regular old self into this super glammed up version with a green smoky makeup look and an easy and sleek, I like to call it a goddess ponytail. So before I get into the look, I wanna quickly tell you guys about a service that can help you become more well-rounded, more connected, and that is Audible. And thank you so much to Audible for sponsoring this video. If you're unfamiliar, Audible has the largest selection of audiobooks on the planet in every category imaginable. Each month, Audible members receive one credit for any audiobook they choose, plus two Audible originals, which are exclusive titles created by celebrated storytellers that you can't get anywhere else. And it's just a really great way to listen and check out more books, especially if you're someone like me and you're constantly on the move. It's so, so convenient. You can literally listen to your audiobook while you're getting ready like I'm doing today. I'm currently listening to Becoming by Michelle Obama and I always love hearing the backstory on successful people and how they get to where they are. So yeah, if you want to get a free audiobook as well as two Audible originals, all you have to do is visit audible.com slash chic natural or text chic natural to 500 500 and I'll have all the info down in the description box. Again, it's audible.com slash chic natural or text chic natural to 500 500 and you can get your listen on. Alrighty, so like I said, I'm going to be doing a sleek pony and to make it easier, I went ahead and lightly flat ironed my hair beforehand and now I'm just making a side part. I'm slightly curving it. Then I'm making a part going across just so I can section off the portion in the front that's going to be kind of swooped over. I'm going to pin that away for now and then gather up the rest of the hair. To get everything really slick, I'm using this 24 hour edge control and I'm actually gonna use this all over, not just on my edges. I'm using this instead of gel because this gets my hair laid without causing it to get wavy. Most gels would make my hair kind of curl up, especially for a style like this and I don't want that. Um, so I'm not using a lot of this, just enough so it lays as flat as possible and then brush it smooth. I took out some hair for my sideburns and I actually, right here, I took out a little bit too much, but I'm gonna fix that later, so no worries. So once it's flat, brush it all back into a low ponytail. Now I can take down that front section, brush it out so it's smooth, add some more of the edge control. Then bring it over and bring the hair towards the back. So I'm clipping it so the hair stays in place. And then I'm using another elastic band and I'm securing the hair in with the rest of the ponytail. Now I'm gonna get my edges in place, you know, make sure they're looking just right. Gonna tie them down using an edge scarf. Then I'm gonna take that loose hair and plait it as tight as possible and then secure the end with a rubber band. I put on another scarf on top just for reinforcement and I'm gonna let my hair set while I do my makeup. So I already filled in my brows. Now I'm going in with concealer underneath to clean them up and get them nice and crisp. Then blend that out with a smudge brush. I'm adding a little concealer to the front of my brows and then I'm taking a spoolie and brushing it out to get a faded effect at the beginning. Then wipe away the excess and my brows are done. Now I'm applying a nude base, which will help make the eyeshadow colors pop and show up more vibrant. 
Using the Urban Decay Born to Run palette, I'm dipping my brush into these two colors and I'm gonna broadly sweep that all over my lid as my transition color. Gonna wet a flat brush with some setting spray and then I'm gonna place this metallic green shadow all over my lower lid and I'm bringing it up just past my crease until it meets that first red color. I'm mixing this dark brown with this light brown shadow and popping that right onto my outer edge to give the eyes a smoky look. And to make this eye look really glisten, with a wet brush I'm applying some of this champagne colored glitter right on top of where I applied the green shadow and I'm just patting that on to build up the intensity. Using a dark brown liner to line my lower lash line. Then for the top, I'm taking this liquid liner from e.l.f. and winging out my upper lash line. Popping on some false lashes to make the eyes more dramatic and defined and pretty much just bring the whole look together. For my face, I'm first hydrating with the Clinique ID Moisturizer. And you always wanna make sure your skin is moist and supple because it really does help make for a flawless finish. Also applying some Shimmer Drops by Smashbox and then I'm gonna brush that in. And this is gonna give my face an underlying glow and radiance. And I really like how it looks underneath foundation, especially for a full glam beat. Some concealer underneath my eyes to help camouflage those dark circles and I'm blending it out with a damp makeup sponge. Now for my foundation, I'm using NARS Sheer Glow and I'm dotting that all over my face and then blend it in with that same sponge. I'm going back in with more concealer under my eyes to brighten up that whole area and get a bit of a highlight going and blend it out. Using some Ben Nye Banana Powder to set my face and I'm applying it underneath my eyes where I put the concealer as well as on my chin and my forehead. Alright, so while I'm baking, I'm going to go back and finish up my hair. For the ponytail, I'm using this 14 inch deep wave hair and this is what it looks like fresh out of the package. So I unraveled it like this and I left the hair doubled which means the track is folded in half. At the very end where the hair forms a loop, I'm taking a bobby pin and bringing that through to attach it to the weft. Then take that and push it through the bottom of the ponytail near where the rubber band is and now the curly hair is attached. So here what you want to do is basically wrap the extension hair around your real hair and you want to wrap it as tightly as you can so there's no slack and while you're wrapping it slowly start moving the extensions upwards until you reach the very top. About midway through the track I'm placing another bobby pin just to reinforce it and when you're doing this you want to make sure to place the pins in vertically so they're going into the center of the plait and not sticking out from the ponytail. Once you get to the last of the track, one more pin to secure the end, then continue on with the next bundle until the entire base is covered with the curly hair. And for this style, I ended up using about a pack and a half of the extensions.
And when you're done, it should look like this. So now I'm pulling out some of the hair and wrapping it around the top of the ponytail to cover the track and make it look more realistic. Then to add a little more pizzazz, I'm winding around some of this gold string. To secure it, I just tied the ends of the string together, made a knot, and then I cut off the excess. And now I can finish off the makeup. So I'm sweeping away all of the setting powder. Then using this bronzer, I'm gonna contour my nose. With a dark concealer, I'm adding some depth and dimension to my jawline and under my cheekbones and blending it out with a damp makeup sponge. I'm using this golden color to highlight the apples of my cheeks. Also gonna place some of it down the center of my nose, on my cupid's bow, and in my tear ducts to really draw attention to the eyes. A little mascara on my bottom lashes. Then for my lips, I'm first applying a reddish brown liquid lipstick. and this pink Bobbi Brown liquid lip color right on top of that. Makeup is complete. Now I just gotta put the final touches on the hair, make sure everything is laid exactly right. Fluff out the ponytail, get it nice and full. And this is the finished look. So I hope you guys enjoyed my transformation. I definitely had a lot of fun wearing this look out. I really don't do ponytail type styles like this often at all. And um, it just really gave me a whole different vibe. I was, uh, you know, I was feeling it. So um, as always, I'll have everything you need to know about hair and makeup products down below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you all on my next one. Bye.